I have with me today uh, a very good friend of the museum, Phil Etheridge. Phil Etheridge is Norm Etheridge's son. Norm Etheridge was the fellow who was responsible for restoring VRA, the only flyable Lancaster in North America, back to flyable condition. He spent nine years of his life doing that. And I just want to read you a little background about Norm. During the fall of 1987, four members of the newly formed Nanton Lancaster Society traveled to the Canadian Warplane Heritage Museum in Hamilton, Ontario to find out just what was involved in restoring a Lancaster. This is when we were just getting started and we had that old girl sitting out here on a pedestal and looking very decrepit. Their aircraft, FM-213, was being restored to flyable and would become the Minarski Memorial Lancaster in memory of Andrew Minarski, a Canadian Victoria Cross recipient who had been killed while flying in a Lancaster during World War II. Despite the fact we were only planning to restore our aircraft to static display, we were welcomed by the project's chief engineer, Norm Etheridge, and the others involved in the restoration, including aircraft maintenance engineer, Tim Moles. Norm, Tim, and others at CWH patiently showed us all aspects of the restoration project and answered all the questions related to Lancaster's and operating an aviation museum that we neophytes could come up with. Later, through trading some Lancaster parts with their museum, we were play pleased to be able to play a very minor role in their wonderful restoration effort. Over the years, Norm and Tim have become good friends of our museum. Norm visited on a number of occasions. In particular, as a guest speaker during our Salute to the Lancaster event in 1997, and he played a significant role in the creation of Canada's Bomber Command Memorial Wall, which is right behind you. And he was present for its dedication in 2005. Both Norm and Tim have donated documentation, tools, and other material, as well as money over the years, and advice that has been helpful to our restoration and our museum's development. Norm was born in Croydon, England in 1927, within walking distance of the Croydon airfield. During World War II, he watched armadas of German bombers attack London by day and night, and he witnessed much of the Battle of Britain. Norm saw Stuka dive bombers attack the Croydon airfield and narrowly escaped a machine gun attack by a Heinkel bomber on the street where he lived. In 1943, at age 15, Norm joined the Royal Navy as a naval aircraft artificer apprentice. In 1957, he immigrated to Canada to continue his aviation career. Storm and Norman, as a lot of people used to call him, gave us directions as to what and how to do things. He used to say, you can do things anything, any way you want, just as long as it's done my way. It turned out his way was always the best way. With Norm's growing confidence in us, came more confidence in ourselves. As our lives came together during the years, we restored this magnificent aircraft Norm always gave us respect and imparted his aviation knowledge to us without hesitation. Norm was voted the best aircraft maintenance engineer in Canada, and I was very lucky to call him my friend. Norman Philip Etheridge peacefully departed this earth January 27, 2017, to rejoin his beloved wife Mary. He's a much-loved father of Philip, 
and Mary, and his gramps to Sarah, Robin, Candace, Ryan, and great grandpa to Aiden and Alora. Born March 16, 1927, in Croydon, England, oh, sorry. he served in the Royal Navy, apprenticed as in aircraft maintenance, and he married his beloved wife Mary in 1949, welcomed his son Philip in 1951, and moved to Canada in 1957. Daughter Mary arrived in 1963. Norm had a long and successful career in aviation at Toronto Airport with Kenting, Field Aviation and INCO. His true legacy will be his contributions to historical aircraft restoration. First, CFTCC for Air Canada's 50th anniversary in 1986 and then the Minarski Memorial Lancaster Bomber GVRA in 1988, one of only two left flying in the world. And I might add, our Lancaster is one of four in the world with four running engines. And Norm helped us restore those engines. Norm was the recipient of the Phoenix Award Federation Aeronautique Internationale in 1993, the Canadian Aircraft Maintenance Engineers Hall of Fame in 2012, and the Milton Walk of Fame in 2013. That's it. Now I'd like to call on Norm's son, Philip. Would you come up, please? And I believe Phil has a couple of words to say. Thank you, Dan. <clears throat> Damn, it's kind of hard to listen to, it's, even though it's been uh, since February. But, but thank you for the kind remarks. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm here today on uh, representing the family. Uh, my sister was actually listening on the on the phone, um, and uh, we we wanted to come uh, to Nanton today um, to uh, pay tribute to uh, my dad and to my mom. Uh, my mom was every bit as much uh, a part of uh, the restoration of the Lancaster and Hamilton. Uh, dad would come home sometimes, uh, as you can imagine, with a project like that, project like that, um, where things didn't go very well. Um, when they took the wings off, it took them uh, several months to get the bolts out of the wings to get it apart. One bolt took them uh, almost six weeks, one bolt to take out. Um, and she would buck him up and push him back out the door and say, you know, you can go and get it done. So I'm here today to represent the. Uh, the family to say thank you to the folks at Nanton and to present to Nanton uh, the Bomber Command Museum on behalf of my dad a check for twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> uh, Dan, can you go over that way, please? Oh. She wants a picture with Blank picture. in the background. Yeah. Uh, Phil, you can hold the other side of it. Awesome. Okay, one more. Thank you. <laughs> 